Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. About three days ago, four days ago, three days ago, on day number 81, we began a series of videos dealing with the notion of ratio and proportions. Today we'll do a few problems dealing with the concept of proportions. The very first problem is already on the blackboard. Here's how it goes. Once I finish reading the problem, once I have finished reading the problems, I want you to pause the video, I want you to do the problem yourself. Once you have done the work yourself, then I want you to resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do you understand? As always. Here's the problem. We are told, we are told that air filtering system, air filtering system takes out 0 0.04 gram of dust for every 1000 cubic meter of air that goes through the filtering system. For every 1,000 cubic cent, cubic meter of air that goes through the system, it removes 0 0.04 gram of dust. Where you go? Of dust. The question simply is, how many grams of dust will be removed through this filtering system if 1 billion cubic meter of air has filtered through it? If 1 billion cubic meter of air has filtered through it. As you can clearly see, this question deals with the notion of billions and millions and so on and so forth. It's very important that we understand this concept, that we are clear on this concept, and for that very reason, for that very reason, on day number 22, is right here, on day number 22, we dealt with these notions. And if you have not watched that video, if you are not clear, quite clear as to what a billion, what constitutes a million and a billion and a trillion, watch that video and make sure you understand it. I'm going to, I'm going to be quiet now, I want you to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and then unpause it and then compare the work. You understand? Here are the answer choices. Answer choices are, 4, 40, 400, 4,000, and 40,000. There we go. Five seconds. All right. It's a proportion problem. It's a proportion problem. So the very first thing you have to ask ourselves is, what are the two things that we are dealing with? Well, let's, let's find out, shall we? Air filtering system takes out 0 0.0 gram of dust. Well, there you go. We are dealing with dust. For every 1,000 cubic meter of air, there you go, dust and air. And we are told that it removes 0 0.04 gram, 0 0.04 gram of dust. For how much air? For every 1,000 cubic meter of air. Keep it simple, okay? No need to write down cubic meter here and so forth. No need to write down the units here. Let's continue. Just make sure that they are all the same units, obviously. How many grams of dust will be removed? How many grams of dust? So that's the unknown for every one billion, for every one billion cubic meter of air. One billion. How much is one billion? One billion is ten to the nine. I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to go into the explanation as to why that is, but that's what that is. Watch the video and learn it, as I said. That's it. We are done. We just have to solve for x, which is just going to be 0 0.04 times ten to the nine. So x is going to be 0 0.04 times ten to the ninth over 1000, which is simply 10 to the 3. 1000 can be written as 10 to the 3. 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the 9 is simply going to be 10 to the 6. So far so good. 0 0.04, 0 0.04 times 10 to the 6. We can't leave it like this. We have to have it in whole number. This decimal has to be moved two spots, which means this is same as going to be. This this thing is going to be same as. If you want to move two spots, you need to multiply it by 100. I'm explaining too much now. I didn't want to do it. 0 0.04 times 100 is going to bring it to 4. And then, since we have 100 here, we have, this is power 6. This is the power of 2. So it becomes the power of 4. I'm explaining too much. I understand that. Now it's power of 4. So it's 4 times 10 raised to 4. 4 times 10 raised to 4, which means we have a 4 with 4 zeros at the end. 4 with 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. Turns out that it will remove 40,000 gram of dust from the room. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. On the top. I don't know if it's necessary to explain one more time. We were up to here, point, 
0.04 times 10 to the 9 over 1000 over 1000 is what we had and 1000 can be written as 10 raised to 3 and since they have the same basis 10 and 10 we just 10 raised to 3 cancels out it becomes 10 raised to 6 we subtract 3 from the 9 becomes 6 so it's 0.04 times 10 raised to 6 which is same as 4 times 10 raised to 4 which is same as 40,000 that's what we did here I, I explained too much here and I did it again I don't know why but the important part here is to pay attention to your decimals and to your to your to your uh, counting because that's where they're going to get you because all the answer choices are the same except they're moving around the 4 let's do one more we are told that the ratio of P to Q is 2 to 5. We are also told that the ratio of R to Q is 3 to 10. Question is, what's the ratio of P to R? One more time, we are told the ratio of P to Q is 2 to 5, ratio of R to Q is 3 to 10, plus the ratio of P to R. I want you to pause the video and do the problem yourself, okay? I'm going to give you 5 seconds to pause and then pause the video. Unpause the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time, as always, as I remind you. Alright, let's get going then. We are told that the ratio of P to Q is 2 to 5. So P to Q is P to Q is 2 to 5. We are further told that the ratio of R to Q, R to Q is 3 to 10. And the question is what's the ratio of P to R? P to R is what we're looking for. It's very straightforward, very simple. Either we'll have to divide one by the other or multiply one by the other. Multiply the two together, that's all it is. Let's try multiplying them together. PQ times RQ. And as you can see, if you multiply them together, it's not going to get us anywhere because we need P to R. We need R on the bottom and we need to get the Q. We need to get rid of the Q. That's our Q. The fact that we need to get rid of the Q is our Q, is our hint, is our signal that we should multiply them together, we need to divide them. How do we divide how do we divide one fraction by another fraction? Well we take our first fraction and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. R over R over Q, when you take a reciprocal it becomes Q over R. That's it, we are done. Q's are going to cancel out and we end up with P over R, which is exactly what we need. So we're going to take our first fraction, which is P to Q P to Q we told is 2 to 5 and we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal make sure you take the reciprocal make the reciprocal of Q to R Q to R uh, reciprocal of R to Q R to Q is 3 to 10 so this is going to become 10 to 3 that's it we see a 10 here we see a 5 here let's divide top and bottom by 5 we divide top and bottom by 5, 5 goes away and 10 becomes 2, that's it, we're done. 2 times 2 is 4, so the answer is 4 to 3. And the answer choices are going to be listed as either as a fraction 4 over 3, or 4 to 3, or 4, 4 to 3. These are all, all acceptable ways of expressing the ratio of two quantities. Answer is, the ratio of P to Q is 4 to 3. I'll see tomorrow. Not P to Q, sorry. I meant to say P to R. Q was gone. P to R is 4 to 3. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.